hello everyone this is just Frank network tv a home of accurate news and current news for those who subscribe to our channel god bless you for subscribing and if you're yet to do so please kindly press the subscription button below and now the news in details aisha accuses mama daura of using gabashew to execute presidential order without buhari's no nigerian first lady aisha buhari has accused a close relative of President Muhammad Buhari, Mama Daura, of issuing a presidential directive behind a husband. Aisha, who has always been at loggerheads with the Daura family, said Mama Daura, the president's nephew who lives in the presidential villa with his family, directed the scrapping the office of the first lady using the presidential spokesperson, Gabashew. In a statement personally signed by the First Lady and titled, Gabashew has gone beyond his boundary, Aisha said the directive from Daura, who she at once had a feud with when she returned from a trip abroad, embarrassed the president. Stating that Nigeria's development is hinged on the ability of public officials to execute their mandate professionally and to be shining examples in their various areas of endeavors. The first lady said it is not a good sign when officials abandoned their responsibility and started clutching at straws. She said, rather than face his job as spokesperson for the president, Shehu has shifted his loyalty to others who have no stake in the contract that the president signed with Nigerians on May 29, 2015 and 2019. Aisha Buhari says Mama Daura, President Buhari's nephew and closest association in Asorok is given presidential directives without the Nigerian leader's approval or knowledge. The First Lady also said that Shehu has presented himself to these people as a willing tools and executioner of their antics, from the corridor of power even to the level of interfering with the family affairs of the president. We all remember that the chief propon proponent appropriated to himself and his family a part of the presidential villa, where he stayed for almost four years. And when the time came for him to leave, he orchestrated and invaded my family privacy through a video circulated by Mama Daura's daughter. Fatima, the public was given the impression that on arrival in the country, I was locked out of the villa by President by Mr. President Aisha said, alleging that Shell failed. To clear the hear of directive given by Daura, the First Lady said the presidential spokesperson, who was private and part of the plan and his execution, was shocked when he realized that she publicized her return to Nigeria in October and cleared the hear on the many rumors that took over social media. Aisha Buhari said her office was corrupt by Mama Daura through Gabashew without President Buhari's knowledge. Gamba then vented his anger on the National Television Authority. Management insisted that the media crew to my office must be sacked. He succeeded in getting them suspended for doing their job. I had to intervene to save the innocent staff from losing their means of livelihood by involving the, the Department of State Services in order to ascertain roles played by key actors in the saga, Aisha added. Kondebi is alleged disloyalty to the president. Aisha said in Cedar Clives, Shell would have resigned immediately after going beyond his boundaries and power. The test of his antics was to wage war on the first family through an orchestrated media campaign of calumny by sponsoring pseudo accounts to write and defame my children and myself, Aisha said. She also said that the Shell's misguided sense of loyalty an inability to, to stay true and loyal to one person or group has become apparent that all trust has broken down between him and the first family due to the many embarrassments he has caused, the presidency and his family. Presidential aide Gabashew's no loyalty is being questioned by Aisha Buhari, who said he is allowing himself to be used by people with unholy attention towards the false family. We owe our family to consider in our actions, and therefore it is in the best interest of all concerned of Gabashew 
to take the advice of the authority given to him sometimes in the first week of November 2019, I shall conclude it. So, viewers, what is your take about this news? What is your whole opinion about what is going on between Aisha Buhari and Gabashi? I believe that a hope divided by itself will never start. Like this one, it is themselves that are, they are trying to break the hope. Baba Daura is part of the family. Baba Daura knows the in and out of what is, what is going on in the hustle rock. So Baba Daura shouldn't be the one that would destabilize everything in there. And also Gabashew is a special assistant to Muhammad Buhari, our president. I believe he should be working with the president, not for him to be an intruder to the president. Because to me, I believe that anything that is being done in the Hassle Rock should be kept within the Hassle Rock. Not Gabasho to be to try to go against Mr. Muhammadu or try to do something that something behind Muhammad Buhari, our president. And you know, a lot of people made a comment and said Aisha Buhari and Mama Daura are typical examples of public yard quarrel fighting over trivialities. The one thing that is certain now though is that Aisha Buhari is the most consistent, selfish and manipulative first lady this country has ever had. And they said Aisha Buhari needs to shut up and stop disturbing us with a family problem. You support your husband move to ban social media and you are here crying like an orphan. So to me, I believe that anything that is called family matter should be kept within the family. There are some issues that Aisha Buhari doesn't have to start to like voice it out and expose himself to the public. Of course, there will be so many things that, that might happen in the family. But sometimes, any things that is done with if the family should be kept in the family. And somebody said, wasn't expecting this real so. Well, it's a turn now. Aisha Buhari should just go and manage her space in the kitchen. Plus, I'm not sure if she has a place in the Zaozu room anymore. I said, why is this an issue for her? Was good. What good has the first lady contributed to the good of the country other than begging the people of Kogi State? to vote in an oppressor for a second time. Your husband may declare your place is in the kitchen. This Aisha Buhari's letter shouldn't distract us from important matters. She is merely seeking attention from the same street that she condemned. Obviously, Aisha Buhari's matter should not disturb the public. There are so many things that is happening right now. Insecurity, unemployment, so many things that is affected Nigeria as a whole. So Aisha Buhari's family matter shouldn't be something that will be that that, that will try to dis, uh, distract the whole public Nigeria. And he said if you think Aisha Buhari cares about good governance or anything positive as aside her whole interest and well be you need to think again. All the Shaganan she wrote about about in her expose a result of an ongoing power tussle between her and the so called Kaba. I'm sure, I'm so sure Auntie Aisha Buhari will be happy because she's trending on Twitter and yet wants them to go on with the so called SM and eight speech, eight speech bill. Hypocrite. Because, of course, she is the same person that supported eight speech. And now, she's the same person that is using, really, really using the media almost all the time to bring out his, her whole family matter. And they said, Aisha Buhari, so people still rate her. She was here last supporting the speech bill. Today, she is still here crying foul about another shit. This lady is one of the play markers of this government. There is an agenda she is pushing. Check very well. Although she might revisit it, but let us forget about Aisha Buhari said about the social media bill for a minute. At least she has more balls than Gabashew 
Baba Daura and other coincidences puppets associated with the presidency working for Major General Buhari. It's actually not our business anymore. She cited our dictatorship. Whatever she sees, she takes it. Every other month, Aisha Buhari makes it clear that General Buhari is not in charge of is not in charge. Oh, there is a cabal controlling him, but the rest of us should not say anything or criticize his feelings because of because if we do, so many things will happen. So this is just all about uh, Aisha Buhari, Baba Daura, and Gabasheo. They realize that Gabasheo is the one that is that is exposing everything that is going on in Aso Rock. Gabasheo is a special assistant to the president, and I believe that Gabasheo is already part of the family, in which anything that happens in the family should be kept within the family. So I believe Gabasheo should be called an intruder, should be called an enemy to the family. We should not be so. So viewers today, what is your whole opinion? What is your take? Kindly drop your comments below, click on the subscription button, and also press the bell icon to get updates whenever I upload videos. Bye!